Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Of course, of course it is. Uh, Disney's in trouble again because uh, they have a bunch of women suing them saying that they don't pay women fairly. Well, that's actually been going on for a while. Like the women have been complaining about this. 2019, I think. Yeah, I know I've been hearing yeah. it for a while now. So let's uh, talk about this because this case is allowed to go forward. And uh, if it goes to court, Bob Iger might have to testify. And this is another blow against progressive Disney. Look how progressive you are. You <laughs> underpay women. Here's Bob Iger. Ready? COVID. <laughs> Bob <laughs> Chapek. Wasn't Co me. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a, I was going to say, he's got a little sound bite. All right. Uh, AI Bob. AI Bob Iger. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, this has come from Deadline. Let's see, Deadline's covering it. Variety's covering it. Oh, no, more bad news for Disney. Um, yeah, Disney faces pay equity claims from thousands of... Is it... Okay, but is it just me, or do all the headlines on all the websites seem to be getting longer? They are. I've been seeing other ones. I'm like, how many words are you fitting in this headline? Let's get Did, as much in there so we get found. Yeah, pretty much, but the thing is, is, it's too long to even see it in the results, right? Disney faces pay equity claims from thousands of female employees after losing bid to halt class action certification. Time to grow up, plaintiff's lawyer says of the Mouse House. Time to grow up, Disney. Grow up and you pay off those women. Um, thousands and thousands of past and present female Disney employees can sue the Mouse House. Now, yeah, I guess it's a, a class action lawsuit. So over four years after Disney staffers LaRonda Rasmussen and Karen Moore uh, sued for gender-based pay disparity, mm -hmm. an L.A. judge on Friday has agreed the matter can become a class action suit. So that's going to open the floodgates. So any woman who has ever worked for Disney who feels like she was underpaid can get in on this Mickey Mouse action. Oh, damn. Potential payout in the hundreds of millions. Almost 10,000 women can join the for legal action. Uh, at this rate, the trial could kick off in October of 2024. All right, so this is where they slap down Disney. Disney is 100 years old this week, the plaintiff's lawyer said. Um, it's time to grow up and take responsibility for their actions on so many levels. Not just this. Uh, as a point of law, the plaintiffs allege that Disney has violated the Fair Employment and Housing Act and California's Equal Pay Act. Now, this kind of uh, goes along with what uh, Blizzard Activision was accused of too. Seeking at, le at least 150 million in lost wages, the suit could balloon in damages up to and beyond $300 million. Which mean, wow. Which means this action could prove to be the biggest ever certified under Golden State Law. Okay, that's not good. No. That's not good for Disney. I mean, it's also California, so no, I'm surprised here. Yeah, but, I know, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, that is not a good look. So when is Disney going to move to Texas? <laughs> also, because Disney's CEO exercises direct control over many aspects of employment, as stated in plaintiff's filings earlier this year, Bob Iger may find himself directly pulled into this case. Uh, we're disappointed with the court's ruling as to the Equal Pay Act claims and are considering our options, said Disney. Well, they have enough lawyers, but they also have how many lawsuits going on right now. Well, that's just it. They said they tried to shut these women up, basically, back in 2019. And we know how that goes because they did this with the whistleblower, mm -hmm. uh, Sandy Kuba. They tried to shut her up, too. And um, that's she, what they do. She won, by the way. She did win. A settlement, it. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it is after her life was torn to shreds by Disney's lawyers, but... You know, Disney has some of the uh, toughest lawyers on the planet. I just don't know if they can afford to keep those lawyers on retainer anymore because Disney's run out of money here. But um, they said, yeah, they tried to originally swat them away as individual lawsuits and complaints. Yes. And that's now, shocker there. Shocker there. Like, oh, it's just that one woman. She's just, you know, whatever. We're going to say that she did all these bad things, and that's probably why she shouldn't be here. It's probably PMS. Am I right? <laughs> 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 yeah. And, um, so now it's it's class action lawsuit. This opens up the floodgates. And wow, yeah, then we got Jonathan Majors over here. Too. Man, they're just getting it from like everything associated. Everything Disney touches turns to crap. Pretty much. You know, everything those big white gloves touch uh, doesn't end very well. But yeah, they said that the um, the average entry level pay for a woman at Disney is 75000 or less. And uh, even though it's only like a 2.5% discrepancy on average, it does add up. So 
don't understand. I'm like, if you're if you're doing the same job, why do you get paid less? I don't know. They used um, to argue because oh, men had to be the heads of the household and all that. Might you know, not always. I think it should There's go a lot by of single moms, a lot of stay home dads. Yeah, I think it should go by your experience, uh, right. you know, qualifications. Um, now, of course, we're gonna have people. I'm sure chime in and be like, "Well, these women, these women weren't qualified. That's why they got paid less." And I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I know one woman who who was getting paid plenty, and that was uh, Christine McCarthy. She was getting well. Like paid this plenty. has been something that keeps happening over and over again. People say it doesn't happen. It does happen though, because I can tell you, um, the one year there was a teacher strike, and where, where I used to live, and. The teachers, they put their salaries in the paper because it was public record. Yeah. Because they were trying to be like, those teachers don't deserve more money. And they got paid jack crap. They were really underpaid. And they put their salaries in the paper. It was funny because there were female teachers who had been there longer than the male teachers and had, some of them had master's degrees or other things that they had over the male teachers. Some of them were the head of the department. And they were getting paid significantly less than the men. So that didn't go over very well because uh, it was in the paper to try to, like, you know, shame the teachers for the strike. But it ended up causing more problems because a lot of female teachers were really mad because they weren't getting paid the same rates that their male counterparts were. And some of them were, had more qualifications. So I can tell you for a fact this does happen. I mean, that Disney, I can't say. But in general, it does. Yeah, I thought that was kind of shit that they put the salaries in the paper. Yeah, I, I thought like, it was crap too. And the thing is, these people are like they they get summers off. They're no, overpaid babysitters. They do not get summers off. They yeah, only contracted for nine months. But that's a whole other story. That's a anyway. Whole other story. I'm just saying this does happen. I know that's happened for years now. As far as happening at Disney, I can't speak to that. But do I think it happens at Disney? It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, it's just you know, again, here's another example of this this company positioning itself as being uh, very progressive. And uh, they're they're not paying their female employees what they they should be, or you know apparently. But they said that it doesn't include anybody at Hulu, ESPN, Pixar, or Fox. Uh, just Disney, uh, just Disney for now. For now, yeah. For now, um, I don't know. If Variety has anything different on it, but basically, like Disney is gaslighting. Go back up. Disney is gaslighting women. Disney's been gaslighting these women for four years. They love their jobs. They love the brand, but they want to be respected and treated the way they should be in the workplace. Wow. So that's that's the attorney. Yeah. yeah. Disney expressed disappointment. Disney can fuck off. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The, to be fair, Disney, a lot of people have been expressing the point, disappointment in you for years now. So so this is interesting right here. Um, they said it's across the board, though. They said just because two employees are in the same job, family, and level doesn't mean their work is substantially similar. Uh, she rattled off the list. This is... um. Somebody from uh, defending Disney, I think, right? Um, they said there are different segments, different business areas, and different locations. They report to different managers. They right, but that's okay. But, but here's the thing: you have to yeah. look at them job by job. If they're seeing a disparity across the board in different jobs, and there's still a disparity, I mean, yeah, somebody who works in one department might make more money than somebody who works in another. Um, and if you're comparing that, you're comparing apples to oranges. But if you're comparing apples to apples and you go through each job and compare the women to the men, and they're getting a lot less money across the board, that's, you know, yeah, harder, so, to, harder to dismiss. So what you're going to have to do is basically find a female and a male employee with the exact same skill set or comparable skill set, education, experience level, and be like, look, you know, the guy got twenty thousand dollars a year more than Well, here's the thing, she too. Did, here's you know? the thing, too, though. If the, they didn't believe that there was something there. They wouldn't let the class action case go forward. Well, it's also California. So well, know, that's also very you know, true. Yeah. But, it might not uh, be the same in another state. That's a very good point. Right. Um, and California, I mean, this is this is kind of what got Blizzard too. Activision was was that uh that act. But yeah, Davis is the Disney's Disney's attorney. And she said that Disney is gonna put on a massively complex defense trial in order to show that any disparities were the result of allowable factors such as education, training. And you know experience. what? That could be the case. It yeah. honestly sincerely could be the case. Like they might have gotten more money because, you know, they had extra classes or something. But what's interesting to me, I don't know. I just think I just think that I've heard this for a while now from different people. This isn't just like a new thing. And I I can't think that they'd be having the same people sign up for it and it'd be allowed to move forward unless they had something. Yeah. But like you say, California, who knows? Uh, yeah, but um, here's the thing. Disney is gonna die death. By a thousand cuts. Because it's like open season on the mouse house right now. Like everybody is gunning for Disney. They're all gunning for Everybody's coming out of the woodwork now. And it's like Disney's kind of weak. So now they're like, let's all come out of the woodwork and let's all start attacking Disney now. 
And um, they're just getting it from all sides. They are. Well, this is interesting. The lawyers for the women are like, you're telling me Disney has no system of categorizing pay grade levels. They would. They'd also they would would. know what people are what tiers or what level. Like, I mean, I'm assuming they have a system like that because, like, I know for education, there's different tiers, different steps. Um, and depending, depending on how many years you've been there, your education level, et cetera, you get more money for this, 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 you know, that kind of thing. They should have right. some kind of record of how they determine who's offered what money. It's, other it's, than you have a penis. <laughs> It's one of the um, it's one of the biggest entertainment companies in the world. They absolutely positively have all this figured out, you know, down to the penny. But they're gonna get employees as cheaply as they can get them. I mean, they're using, you know, how many college interns for, you know, full time employees in the theme parks. You know, they're they're yeah. abusing the college program kids. You know. So not like literally abusing them, but just abusing what was supposed to be for. It's supposed to be an internship. And then they're like, no, we'll just staff staff everything with, you know, college kids. We don't have to pay crap, you know? And um, so, yeah, they're going to try to get away as cheap as they or get mm-hmm. off as cheap as they can. They, they are for sure. It comes out as jokes there as Hollywood, but you know. Yeah. Anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Disney's got another lawsuit. Yay. Another lawsuit. It's, it's basically this just a day that ends and why. A day that ends. Why? Why? Because we don't like you. It's pretty much. All right. Please subscribe. Why? Because you've got tits, not a penis. <laughs> Jeez. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.